Hello and welcome to this edition of the Optometry Views from Inside the Consulting Group podcast in a bite-sized edition. Thanks as always to our sponsors from TopCon. Now, what I'm speaking about today is the difference between your CPD portfolio and a submission to CORU if you're called for audit. As part of a requirement for CPD, we must maintain a portfolio of the CPD that we engage in. That's something that's covered in the uh, Code of Conduct and Ethics, and it's also something that's covered in the primary legislation. So doing CPD and making a record of it is an obligation that we all have. Under the last set of rules that Coral published for the 2017 audit that did not take place, we had to submit a portfolio containing all of our CPD for the year, including evidence. This time around, what Coral want is a submission to illustrate your CPD. You do not have to supply all the CPD that you've done in the year. You select the 30 credits and 30 credits only that you feel best represent your CPD efforts for the year. For that reason, you may have more CPD credits in your portfolio than you are submitting to Coru. We do CPD for a variety of reasons. We do CPD because there's things we're interested in as practitioners. We do CPD because we're talking to colleagues all the time. We're doing CPD because we're preparing for the COVID pandemic. We do CPD because something else arises. We get new equipment. All of these things that we do in normal practice are CPD. Maybe not traditional CPD in the sense that we are used to recording it, which would be lecture, workshop, and that kind of thing, the formal accredited CPD that we're used to as optometrists, but all the things that affect how we practice. So if you have a lot more CPD in your portfolio than you need to submit, that's great, that's not a problem. And if you're ever called for something to do with fitness to practice, proving that you have engaged in CPD on a regular basis and a variety of topics could be very helpful to your case if you ever have a complaint made against you. And that's why we recommend people to keep their CPD in, a, in their portfolio and record everything that you do. But the submission that you make to Coru this time, if you are one of the people that are called, if you're one of the people that are selected on the 1st of April in 2021, only the people who are selected will need to make a submission. And the submission is a limited amount of your CBD and it's 30 points that are representative. So that's why we say we have two things. We have our portfolio, which is everything that we've done over the period that we've been registered. And we can break that down into a yearly basis of what CPD we've done for each year. On top of that, you have a submission, which is a, would have been in the old system, everything for that year, but now is only a selection of 30 credits for the year. So hopefully that clears up some of the confusion about the difference between your CPD portfolio, which is everything you've done, and a submission, which is a limited amount if you're called by car. Thanks, and that's the end of this bite size. We'll do a couple more of these answering specific questions that we get. Thanks again for listening, and thanks to everybody for watching, if you're watching this on YouTube, and thanks to Topcon for their support.